Okay, so we've got a couple of questions about sheet metal. Um, so what we'll have a look at here is using the select tool. So we've got our select tool. Um, also got could possibly use find components, but that's a temporary one. So we're going to use select tool for this for this option. I'm going to go and we're going to go, going to create a query. We can create multiple queries, not all appear under queries on there. So for this one, um, we're going to do um, steel type. So we're going to search for different properties on here. So we're going to search material contains. Let's just do stainless on this one, and then we're going to add that to the list. So that's now that query. So if I click OK on there, we've now got steel type. If I double click on that, it's going to highlight any items within the assembly that we've got, which have got stainless steel set to them. So the next query we're going to have a look at is material thickness. Very common if we're going to be doing a nesting. We need to find out which material thickness we've got. So we've got material thickness. I'm just going to copy that because I actually need to use that again in a sec. So now we're going to look for custom file. So that's going to look at our variables that we've got. And then this is the variable that we're going to have a look at. So material thickness is the file that we're going to have a look at. So first we'll have a look for 1.6 and we'll add that to the list. This can be edited afterwards. So now we've got that with our select tools. So I'm just going to pin that so we don't have to hide that again. Material thickness, you can see we've got that one. So next let's have a look at what we've got at 2 mil. So we can go in there, this value, we can go and remove this. Um, if we need to, so I'm going to. That's why I've called that material thickness, so it's easy for us to go and have a look at those at those different ones, or we can go and do it different. So that's that material thickness. So let's go and create another one. So I'm just going to call this 2.5 um, MT, and we're going to have our custom file. We're going to paste that back in. So we're going to search for 2.5 on this one, and we're okay. So if I now search my 2.5 MT. It's going to highlight that size, and then the remaining should all be two millimeter. So let's just do two two millimeter MT, and we'll do the same on there again. And we'll search for two point zero and add that to the list. So now we can go through and click on those. So those are my two mil. Those are my two point five, and those are my one point six. And then we've got one that obviously doesn't set to any of those. Um, maybe that's just because that's a mirror. Okay, hopefully that's useful for you. Thank you.